Good morning, guys. I don't know. Lily of all time thank you for tuning in again and i'm the host of the show lilian lemma come on please don't forget to subscribe comment and share and uh don't be like subscribe i have to to, to emphasize on this because each channel to particular kitu utapata mambo kusu mausiano utapata kusu maisha utapata kusu vyakula yani everything is into this channel so don't forget to subscribe and tell your friend tell a friend so guys, uh, before ni ndele kwa nini ilesha kazi, let me tell you how I got it first. Kwa kweli, kwa my friends and both, they know me. They know kwa mba mimi siku kaga sana mtani, mwaiza tutuwa nikapata kazi. I really do thank God about that thing. Kwa kweli, ilikuwa like a miracle. Ujue. Mwaza mimi, ni maliza thedia ni kwa na sub. Of which, sija hii kupataga sub maisha yangu yu, chatoka ni mianza first year, mpaka thedia, ni kenya kupata third year, second semester, the econometrics. Now that really did hurt me so bad. Nikajiona Mungu wangu, how am I going to survive? Kwa sababu natoka anamaliza chuo, inabidi nikae na sibere ile September conference ije, nifanye mitihani. Nikao naanza sasa what if nikao nipata kazi mikoani? Kwa nitarudi nitaomba nita, nita, likizo nije kufanya mtihani. What if nikao na what if nyingi sana kichwani kwangu? Ila nashukuru Mungu, that thing really went so smooth, very smooth. Kwa hiyo walivyokujaga wale watu wa kuna watu wanakujaga chuo kabla mjamaliza wanakuja kufanya sijui wanahitaji kile kitu lakini wanakuwa ni uh, makampuni tofauti tofauti wanakuja mnapeka CV zenu i did uh, kwa hiyo tulipomaliza chuo sikuwa nakumbuka nilipigwa simu ya kazi nilikuwa mwenge kwenye kusagula nilikuwa naenda kusagula nilikuwa na one of my friend tulikuwa nimeenda kusagula napigwa simu hello hello kwa hapi nikaelezea niko Dar es Salaam can you come to our office kesho kanelezea location ya ofisi yao and all that kwa hiyo kesho yake asubuhi nika kwanza kabla hapo nikatoka mwenge nikashata kusagula nikaenda nikaenda nyumbani nikamwelezea my mom i told her nimeita kwenye interview mimi sijaweza kuenda interview nikawa najiza sana nenda kuongea nini nenda kufanya nini so kesho yake nikaamka asubuhi na mapema nikaenda the good thing hiyo siku kwenye interview tulikuwa watu wachache tulikuwa sio watu wengi and uh, uh, wale wamiliki ile kampuni ya kwa wa Tanzania. So I was like, oh my god. Hivi nitaweza? Itawezekana? Will I really pass this interview? And the good thing again, ngafanya interview nikamaliza. Pa 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 nikaitwa kuanza kazi. And that was my first interview and the last year kwenye interview tena mpaka leo hii. And the first interview na kupata kazi hapo hapo. Nikapata na kazi. Nikaajiriwa. The company was really really great. Nikafanya nao kazi for almost 3 years and a half. Uh, the day I decided to quit, uh, it was a very sana, of which some of them they were very very personal. Lakini sababu moja kubwa, I wanted to to start living my dream, you know. Na yeye kila mtu na kuna kuna maisha kila mtu na kuna ndoto zake. Nataka kuwa nani? Nataka kufanya nini? Yeye nataka kuna kufanya kisha lakini nafanya just for the sake of getting money, you know. There is that point of life where you just do something in 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 ready, but ela. Lakini we forgot that apart from that kuna maisha nataka tuyaishi maisha ya kuishi ndoto zetu so the point ilifika nikasema this time i want to live my dream i want to to try to reach my dream hata kama ni ngumu vipi lakini i'll just figure it out on the way kuliko kusema kila siku i'll do it i'll do it maisha yenyewe our life span is very short ukisema kila siku nitafanya kesho 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 hiyo kesho inaweza isifike so siku hiyo nimeamka asubuhi tu baba pana nikaenda ofisini ngambe i just want to quit my job it's enough is enough. I really want to quit my job. My bosses were like, no, don't. Ivo, no, you are bosses on a book. I was like, 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 I no, I won't listen to you guys. So, na kumbuka baada ya kuacha kazi nikamwambia mama yangu, mama yangu hakunielewa kabisa. Hakunielewa kabisa, akanambia kuna umeacha kazi, wewe unatafuta kazi, unajiamini nini, mtani pagumu nini. Ah, yale maneno ya mama kwanza kaanza kunipa mawazo. Sasa itakuwaje? 
akatuma atakuwa ni Farid na Nyombe. Nikajiuliza ngajiuliza ngajiuliza ngasema kwa hiyo ni yule ofisini nikaomba yeye anirudisha. I had so many questions kwa sababu hata mabosi zangu walikuwa wameniambia kama you go kwa sababu niliambia nataka kufanya kazi sehemu nyingine si kwamba naacha afu I just leave my dream now. Nikaambia tunahama mkoa anaenda kufanya kazi sehemu nyingine nipata kazi sehemu nyingine. So they were like kama ukiona unataka kurudi just let us know and all that. You see nikaanza sasa au ni kusema mamangu kasha nisema hivi kwa nini sende ofisini nikaombe ndio ndio sina ofisini lakini kumbuka kwamba lengo langu kubwa ni kuishi ndoto zangu lengo langu kubwa ni kuishi ndoto zangu sasa na kirudi kule itakuwaje niko na mawazo mengi kubwa ambacho mimi nili niliona kabisa hapa i am ready to quit my job ni nilikuwa na vitu vitatu naweza kuongelea vinne cha kwanza nili quit my job on december lakini november yote nilifunga kufunga ile unasemaga unaweza kufunga chochote kaacha labda kufanya kitu fulani unachokupenda sana kwa imani yako unajua kwa wengine wanaweza kuona ah imani yako inakuongezaje no kwa imani yangu mimi niliamini kwamba ninachokifanya ni choacha kukifanya kwa muda ule ni moja wapo ya wewe mimi kufunga na kukomunicate na Mungu wangu nikatumia mwezi mzima kukomunicate na my god nikimomba Mungu naomba nisaidie haya mawazo au hii fikra au hii kitu ambacho nenda kukifanya nikakifanya kwa moyo wote yani nisiwe na Niswe, yani niamini kwamba what I'm going to do is the right thing for me to do. Kama it's not right for me to do, naomba nisikifanye. Kwa hiyo nikafunga mwezi mzima wa November. Ah, um, mpaka December tarehe 10 I was really really ready to do it. So nitaka niwaambie kwamba kama you really you are somewhere and you think you don't belong there, you don't feel needed, you don't feel um uh, kama you belong there. I, I think you really got my point. You don't have to kuteseka sana ongea na Mungu ongea na Mungu muelezee mwambie nataka kufanya kitu fulani lakini i really am not so sure if i i'm supposed to do it right now or not yeye mwenyewe ndo atakuonyesha njia na atakuonyesha ishara kama iko kitu anatakiwa kufanya sasa hivi hola kitu kingine ambacho nilifanya ni i made sure kwamba i had enough savings i had enough saving for me yani nilikuwa nishapiga mahesabu kwamba hata kama i'm quitting today niwe na uhakika kwamba naweza kulipa kodi ya miaka yangu miwili. Yaani niwe na uhakika kwamba my savings zinaweza kulipa kodi za miaka miwili. Sasa so, unajua ndani ya hiyo miaka miwili it's a, it's a, it will be a, a, ile thing of a, try and error, try and error. Sasa so, kama unafanya try and error afu una saving lazima utachanganyikiwa. Kwa hiyo I made sure I had enough saving. Nikajiambia kabisa ndani ya miaka miwili hii ya try and errors niwe na enough saving for me to stay intact. Yaani nisiwe nisi paparike na chochote kile. Niwe na uhakika na hela ya kutosha. I had enough savings. Cha tatu nikao na uhakika kwamba naacha kazi lakini kuna kitu naenda kukifanya. Kwa hiyo mimi before quitting my job 2020 nilikuwa nimeanzisha Lily Feminine Store. Kwa hiyo nikahakikisha Lily Feminine I mean Lily Feminine Store. Kipeniko na kazi ilikuwa uh, my part-time job. Naweza ngasema my part-time job eh? au inaitwaje ile kazi ya pembeni. Yeah, ni ilikuwa kama kazi yangu ya pembeni lakini mpaka na I quit my job ni nilihakikisha kwamba imesimama vizuri kwamba I'm sure kwamba naweza kupata orders fulani ndani ya mwezi zikaletea shilingi fulani of which they can make me survive in that month. Kwa hiyo kabla uja, you quit your job make sure unasali na muomba Mungu akuonyeshe njia sahihi. Make sure you have enough savings. Make sure you have something ambacho kitakusaidia ku generate some income kipindi hiki ambacho unafanya try and errors of what unataka kufanya kwa kipindi hicho. Ah, uh, hivyo ni vitu vitatu ambapo nimesema nimeviongelea. For me, I did quit kwa sababu nilijiona kwamba I wanted something to kunichangamsha akili, unajua? Something ambacho kitanifanya niwe nawaza kila siku what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? You see, that's why I decided to quit my job. Kwa hivyo vitu vitatu ambavyo nimevielezea hopefully you guys will help you kwa mtu yote ambaye ana mawazo ya kuacha kazi leo kesho kesho kutwa please go through them make sure kwamba unavielewa make sure kwamba namba nivirudie make sure kwamba umisali vya kutosha muongea na Mungu wako umemshirikisha Mungu wako vizuri kwa sababu ukiwa na jibu kutoka kwa Mungu unakuwa hauna wasiwasi yani trust unakuwa hauna wasiwasi unajua kabisa hiki kinachofanya ni sahihi unakuwa hauna uoga lakini kama unafanya tu kwa kurupuka utakuwa na majibu mawili mawili kichwa ni kwako. Unataka kufanya au utakufanya? Unataka kufanya au utakufanya? Lakini ukimshirikisha Mungu, vitu vinaenda vizuri sambamba. Cha pili, ni chokiongelea ni kuhusu savings. Make sure you have saving ambazo zitakusaf kulipa kodi, ambazo zitakusaf ku survive for the next two years. Pia mahesabu yako kwa mbazo unatumia shingapi calculate the amount and make sure unajiwekea amount zako kabisa ziko intact. Unajua kabisa mimi natumia shilingi kwa mwezi na tumia laki 5, piga laki 5 yako kwa mwezi mwezi 12 ambao ni mwaka kwa miaka miwili itakuwa ni shilingi ngapi 
Daniel me akamilio trial and errors. I'm sure you'll figure out you figure out what to do. Yaani utajua kabisa wapi nitakiwa nifashike, wapi nitakiwa nifanye ni biashara gani nitakiwa nifanyie kazi na vitu kama hivyo. Ya tatu make sure you have a backup plan. Ndio kama hiyo kazi ya pembeni. Make sure una kitu cha kufanya. Yaani hata kama kitakuzeme ya tano. Kwa sababu sasa hivi ushapiga calculation zako za nyuma za kwenye savings. Unajua savings zangu zipo lakini ambacho naenda kukifanya sasa hivi ni kitu ambacho nakitaka kija kukusaidia mbeleni ambayo ndi your dream your dream job your dream activity your dream anything unakuwa kabisa ushapiga mahesabu yako kichwani hiki unachokifanya kinaletea hela kwa hiyo kisimamie vizuri unapotaka at the end of the day all in all kihuwa ni kusali na kumomba Mungu na ukishakuja mtaani work hard yani huku mtaani ukisema ni tofauti na kuwa umeajiriwa unajua ukiwa umeajiriwa una ile perception kwamba mshahara wangu unaingia mimi nahisi kipindi ambacho nilidumaza akili ni kipindi kwamba nimeajiriwa kwa sababu akili yangu ilikuwa najua kwamba mwisho wa mwezi na ile yangu kazi zangu ni zile zile za kila siku nitaingia ofisini nitafanya hiki na hiki na hiki na hiki nimemaliza kisha na kisho kutwa akili yangu haitawaza tena i'm not trying to say kwamba waliajiriwa akili zao zishangamka hapana kwa my, my my side on my side that was it that was it kuna wakati naona nilikuwa narudia vitu vile vile kila siku na akili haikuchangamka inakutakiwa. Nikaona kabisa akili yangu italala. Every day vitu tunavyofanya. Make sure vinaendana na ndoto yako. Unajua kuna fanya kitu kinaendana na ndoto yako unajiona kama haufanyi kitu kigumu. Sababu kila siku utaamka asubuhi I'm just working on my dream on my dream on my dream. So make sure you do it well. So this video was to motivate someone ambaye anajiona ana anakata tamaa anatamani kuacha kazi haelewi anzie wapi hizo three tips hopefully they will, they will help you in one way or another thank you so much for watching this video let's meet another time it was a story time with Lilian Lema your favorite host of all time the host ciao